you will get what you invest in. And what do I mean? I'll tell you in one second. Cue the intro. Dun, 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 dun. So what do I mean? The time you spend will come back with compounded interest. If you practice five minutes of a difficult guitar song, you'll come back as a better guitar player. I don't play guitar, but if you, if I did, I'd be better by practicing. I think that's common sense. I play a pretty mad air guitar. Mad? <laughs> <laughs> Bad? Bad. Awesome. I play a pretty awesome air guitar. I practice all the time. If you spend a little bit more time each day whining or complaining, that behavior will begin to become a part of who you are. I also do a lot of that. <laughs> the words you type, the people you hang out with, and the media you consume all are so vitally important to shaping you into becoming the best version of yourself. How many of us so blindly type things on our Instagram, on our Facebook, on our Twitter, on anything, social media, or even just venting to other people when we talk? What we communicate, it's coming out from the inside of us, who we are. So the difference between who I am now and who I was five years ago is basically just been a series of kind of small decisions, if you will. So those little decisions, whether I went to the gym, whether I read my Bible, who I've hung out with, what social media posts I've looked into, what sermons I've listened to, how many dates I've gone on with Mrs. Shari here, that has molded me into becoming the husband, the father, the friend, the whoever I am over the past five years. So those small decisions, although they're small now, add up to become bigger, compilation of who you are today. Can we look up compilation? Because I don't know what that means. The habits we groove become who we are. One minute, one decision, one day at a time. So what habits are you grooving in your life? It can be difficult because sometimes we as people, I think anybody can say, well, this one decision doesn't really matter that much but it's all those one little decisions that don't matter that much that add up to make a lot of little decisions that matter a whole lot in our life. What are you doing? Those little tiny decisions every day that the things that you think, well, this one meal isn't gonna make that big of a difference, but if you eat one meal like that one meal, that's not gonna make a difference. It makes a big difference. That one thing that you do, the one thing you look at, the one thing that you say, those habits that you're continually doing over and over and over again, they make a big difference. Even though in the moment, in that one minute, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. It really, really is. A small thing repeated is definitely not a small thing. It actually becomes a very large thing. If repeated over and over again, that could be negative, or it can be positive. The more dates I go on, that's a great thing for my marriage because I'm doing that and building into my marriage. Now, if I was saying harsh words, that's a bad thing. If you keep saying bad things to your spouse, that's horrible for your marriage. Don't do that, husbands and wives. Even in parenting as a mom, I know those moments where your kids are like, mommy, 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 come play with me. Mommy, draw a picture. Mommy, do this. Mommy, do that. Or daddy, daddy, daddy. They are constantly pulling on you and tugging and sometimes you can get in the habit of saying, not right now, not right now, not right now, not right now. But those not right nows add up in a lifetime of memories for your children and they remember you saying not right now all the time. What if we took not right now and said, okay, I will, okay, I will instead of not right now, how much better memories will your children have? And how, how about you even as a parent, you will feel so much better about who you are as a parent saying, okay, I will, even if you don't want to in that moment to just make that decision, to do it with your children, to make those memories, to love them even when you don't want to. It's sacrifices, reading your Bible, praying, all of these things, you can do it with anything in your lifetime. Make a decision to be better today.
It's good stuff. Guys, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for taking time out of your day. We hope we add value to you. You certainly add value to us. Have a great day. Happy Monday.